While many of us have been searching for content while under quarantine, streaming services like Twitch have spiked in popularity, but the massive gaming platform's dedicated user base is facing a dilemma. As technology advances, some of the most popular content is in danger of disappearing for breaking the law. Our Romina Puga reports. Endless imp. <laughs> A feature on the streaming service Twitch is causing havoc for people who stream their content on the platform. Whenever you cast a spell, gain rage. Streamers and the company itself taking down fan-made clips from years ago, Twitch calling it a first for their platform. As creators spoke out on Twitter, reacting to takedown notices that targeted copyrighted music contained in those clips, the use of which is illegal without the correct license or valid fair use claim. The internet has undoubtedly changed and evolved since 1998. It was before YouTuber MySpace and just over a year after the invention of AOL Instant Messenger when President Bill Clinton signed the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA, into law. A set of rules meant to govern and enforce copyrights online, in addition to protecting internet platforms like Twitch or YouTube. DMCA takedown notices are now a fact of life for streamers. Preston Shimmick has been streaming since 2010 under the name Admiral Baru. Twitch now flagging clips made in 2017 by a fan of his. I was playing a video game, uh, one of the characters, and I thought, hey, this music in the background would fit them perfectly. And that just that little five seconds is what got me. Twitch automatically mutes any copyrighted music and streams that are archived, but a feature added in 2016 allows viewers to make shareable clips of their live streams. And it's those clips that streamers are getting in trouble for now, for the most part. That content has never been removed or muted by Twitch or anyone else. For me, I have almost 150,000 followers. I get roughly like 1,500 concurrent viewers at a time on my streams. These streamers say that on Twitch, they don't have the tools available to manage all of the content being created. These are tools that they should have had and they knew about, you know, before, but just weren't implemented in time. And manually tracking down every offending clip would be a monumental task. I met you once or twice. No? Twice. I forgot your name. If you're a smaller streamer, you might get 10 clips a stream. If you're a very big streamer, you're getting tens of thousands of clips a stream. Top Twitch streamers today have more than 8 million subscribers, and those watching at a single time could fill up a baseball stadium. And a streamer's archived videos may include different kinds of content. It's a complex setup. The streamer uses a webcam to broadcast what's going on on their gaming console or on their computer screen. Then there's a notorious chat room on the side. Now, if any of that content includes copyrighted material and is being used without permission, the streamer could get a DMCA takedown request. It could be an independent artist sending one, but mostly it's record labels sending those mass notices. Each violation is a strike against your account on the Twitch platform, regardless of when it occurred. The strikes expire at the end of every year, though Twitch does not explicitly state how many strikes would lead to a permanent ban. According to their community guidelines, multiple violations of our policies may lead to a permanent suspension of your account. A fact that 25-year-old Avery, known online to her fans as Little Sia, is well aware. One of her clips from 2017 was flagged by Twitch. We get to, like, stream games to like raise money for charity or raise awareness or whatever like we can do so much good with it but I've kind of swallowed that pill that one day I could wake up and it's just all gone. Jake Abramson known to his viewers as Jake and Bake is an IRL streamer someone who takes his viewers into the world outside where music could be playing anywhere. You know it's it's scary to be like or to realize that you know your whole livelihood rests on whether or not you get flagged for, in my case, a background song playing like in the street while I'm, you know, there. We reached out to Twitch, which referred us to its statement posted on Twitter. This is the first time we have received mass DMCA claims against clips. We understand this has been stressful for affected creators and are working on solutions. Twitch's head of content saying on Twitter, if you drive a truck, know the laws of the road. If you stream content, know the laws of the Internet. Ironically, according to experts, provisions in the DMCA have protected innovators like live streaming services from some copyright infringement issues. A lot of people attribute the rise of services like YouTube, like Twitch, 
platforms for so-called user-generated content to the safe harbors of the DMCA. Twitch addressed concerns through Twitter last week, saying tools were coming in the weeks and months ahead to help creators manage their content and catch any future DMCA violations. The Recording Industry Association of America telling ABC News Twitch must play by the same rules as every other platform. Lindsay? Our thanks to Romina. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.